What is going on everybody? We are wrapping up our last fishing trip on our tracker boat before we make a significant change to it. And that's going to be ensuring that we can fish all day without any kind of issues, especially in the wind here that we get in North Texas. And also take 110 pounds out of the back of this boat. We're going to do that by installing and talking to you about this MillerTech 36 volt 60 amp hour battery and why you should probably consider one as well. All right, so you know I'm probably gonna geek out over this battery and I'm so excited to share some of the specifications with you. Um, first things first, uh, this is, like I said, a 36 volt battery. So all 36 volt is within these two terminals right here, which is awesome. I don't have three batteries to worry about. This is a group 31 size battery. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than what comes in the tracker. The tracker boats come with a package for a group 27 battery. So I just gotta swap out one battery tray and that'll be good to go there. This thing only weighs 43 pounds. And when I talk about how much energy is in this thing, 43 pounds is remarkably light. The nominal voltage for the battery is actually 38.4 volts. So when it comes to the calculating how much total energy is in this, you take the 38.4 volts, multiply it by the 60 amp hours, and you end up with 2.3 kilowatt hours. Yeah, we're talking in kilowatt hours with this thing, let alone you know regular watt hours. Uh, 2.3 kilowatt hours out of this thing and you also get all of it. This isn't a lead acid battery when you only get 50% of what you're carrying around or an AGM battery where you might get 80% of what you're carrying around. You get 100% of that energy coming out of this battery, which is awesome. So something else worth talking about here for just a second is the battery management system in this battery. Uh, it has a very advanced BMS. It has all of the features and functions that you could ever want out of a lithium iron phosphate battery. It has low temp charging cutoff protection. It has high temperature cutout. It has high voltage, low voltage. It has high current. And of course, it does cell balancing, which is super important when it comes to a lithium battery. You wanna make sure that each individual cell comes up to your maximum voltage for that cell to ensure that you get the most out of the battery. All right, two more things we're talking about. That's going to be the Bluetooth connectivity and the warranty that comes along with this battery. First things up is Bluetooth. A lot of people wonder, why would you ever need a Bluetooth connected battery? I've never had one before. Why would I need one now? It gives you a lot of different features that, that you don't get otherwise. And these batteries are way smarter than something like a lead acid that's in your car or an AGM battery that you may already have today. Whatever it might be, these lithium batteries are super smart. There's a lot going on here. You are able to take a look at voltage, state of charge, which is very different, uh, the current load coming off the battery, also the cycle life, uh, internal temperature, any errors, you know, if there's a low temperature cutout or something that's taking place, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, you can pull up that app and take a look. It also gives you the functionality to take a look at multiple batteries. So if I had this 36 volt running my trolling motor, I had a cranking battery, that's a, that's a uh, Miller Tech, and I had an electronics battery. Those would all be able to be pulled up in the app. I could see what's going on at the same time, make sure all my batteries are charged up before I get going. That's a super nice feature. Let's talk warranties real quick. 10 year warranty right here on the front. Uh, this is a non-prorated warranty. It's repair or replace straight up front. Um, there's not gonna be a 20% discount code that they're gonna give you at year 10 and say, hey, sorry about you, thanks for staying with us for this long. Here's a discount code. Uh, this is a hassle-free warranty. They're gonna get you taken care of. If there's any issues with any kind of reasonable cycle life of the battery, they got you covered. Uh, unlike some other batteries that I have, this one also has a 10-year warranty. And I'm going through that process right now. And there's emails, and there's broken English, and there's lots of complexities when it comes to taking care of that warranty. I will do some commentary on that process here. Nevertheless, Melotech's got you covered. I'd like to spend just a minute and talk about cycle life since I just mentioned that in the warranty. A cycle for one of these batteries is basically going one direction 100%. So if I'm fully charged and I bring this battery down to zero, that's one cycle. And then when I recharge it back up to 100, that's two cycles. So every time I go all the way down and up, that's two cycles. That's not one. A lot of people think it's one, it's actually two. So uh, make sure you understand that when it comes to, uh, we're gonna start comparing some of these to like a lead acid or an AGM battery. And really how many times you can do that is dependent on the depth of discharge, how far down I bring it. So if I bring it down 30%, this battery will do that 9,000 times. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, if I bring it down 50%, it'll do it 7,000 times. If I do it down to 80%, it'll do it 5,000 times. And then all the way down to zero, it'll do that 3,000 times. The cycle life of a lead acid or an AGM battery is a whole different story. Let me show that here. 
If I bring down a lead acid or an AGM battery 30%, I can do that 1,000 times. 30%, 1,000 times, lithium iron phosphate, 9,000 times. If I bring it down 50%, I can do that 500 times with a lead acid battery. If I do 80%, 350, and if I bring it all the way down, uh, I can do that 200 times. So the cycle life of a lead acid battery is hardly anything compared to a lithium iron phosphate battery. So we're gonna break this down into three different scenarios, kind of correlating cycle life to the investment of the battery. How, how do you depreciate an expensive lithium battery and how does that compare to the how much money you would spend on a lead acid or an AGM battery? The example we're gonna use here first is a weekend warrior, kind of like myself. I got a 36 volt trolling motor. I'm going to do four cycles a week, which is kind of a lot, about 50% depth of discharge on the lead acid battery. If I do that, my lead acids will last just over three years, which is okay. That's pretty typical, right? You're used to every two, three years, you need to start thinking about replacing your batteries for the lithium. At year 15, I still have 4,000 cycles left at 50% depth of discharge, 15 years. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So here's the chart on uh, the depreciation rate of the lithium battery, kind of in the $1,200 range. I mean, it still has plenty of life going out there uh, into year 15. When I bring in the basically your replacement cycle for your lead acid batteries, you can see every time you need to start thinking about replacing your battery and swapping out your batteries and going to the parts store or Walmart or wherever you're getting batteries, swapping them out every time. That's how many times you would have to do it within those 15 years, which is, which is a lot. And here's kind of the money associated with that. So in the same span, I still have life at the end of uh, year 15. You've gone through $3,000 with lead acid batteries. That's pretty wild, right? Even for the kind of weekend warrior scenario. So now let's look at kind of a semi-pro kind of tournament angler. You're doing some weekend gigs. Same setup, but now we're going to change it to six cycles per week. Same depth of discharge at 50%. A year and a half out of your lead acid batteries. A year and a half. And then you're doing it over and over again. At the end of year 11 for the lithium battery, I still have 4,000 cycles. So I dropped it down a few years. Kevin, I'm doing more cycles, but I still have an insane amount of cycle life left. Again, here's how it lays in with the lead acid replacements. You can see I'm just swapping out batteries like seven times compared to still having plenty of life on the lithium battery. And here bringing in the replacement cycle for the lead acids, you're still doing this like seven times within 10 years. And I'm just so tired of doing it. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> This one here is like your guide or a professional angler or someone that's constantly using their boat eight cycles per week, 50% depth of discharge. You're gonna get a year out of those last batteries where you completely smoke them. At year eight, you still have 4,000 cycles on the lithium battery. Guys, this is a battery that I will put in this tracker boat. And if I go buy a different boat four years from now, I'm taking the battery with me. Like you've probably never even thought of doing that. Maybe you have, but I mean, there's no point in me leaving this battery. This is like a long-term investment that I don't have to think about. I buy this thing one time and I'm gonna be good into perpetuity, which is really nice. If you're making the switch over to a 36 volt battery, you obviously need some different way to charge it. Your 12 volt charger is not going to work anymore. You gotta get it up to 36, you can charge this battery. This is the way the cells are stacked up within the pack to make 36 volts. Uh, to do that, Miller Tech does sell a 36 volt, 15 amp, charger that goes with it. This is intended to be mounted on board, has a plug, has really nice hookups to it. It's going to make sure that your Miller Tech battery has the right charger and make sure you get the most out of your battery. So with all that in mind, I hope that you understand why I'm making the move over to lithium. If that helped you understand it, please consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll put a link in the description down below and my next video is going to be installing this. Go ahead and check that out when it's available. We'll see you next time.